Jesus, in his response, challenges this doubt. He takes the limited resources available, seven loaves and a few small fish, and performs a miraculous multiplication, providing an abundance that exceeds the need. in Christ. Today, the Gospel of Mark invites us to witness a profound moment in the ministry of Jesus, the feeding of the 4,000. In these few verses, we encounter not only miraculous multiplication of loaves and fish, but also a deeper message that resonates with our lives today. As we delve into Mark, chapter 8 to verse 1 to 10 we find jesus surrounded by a vast crowd in a desolate place these people had been following him drawn by his words and deeds yet as the day wore on their physical needs became apparent jesus in his compassion recognized their hunger and decided to address it the disciples however faced a common human response when confronted with scarcity doubt. How can one feed these people with bread here in this desolate place? They questioned. Haven't we all at some point faced situations that seemed insurmountable where our immediate response was doubt rather than trust? Jesus, in his response, challenges this doubt. He takes the limited resources available, seven loaves and a few small fish, and performs a miraculous multiplication, providing an abundance that exceeds the need. This miracle echoes the feeding of the 5,000, underscoring a crucial message. In the face of scarcity, Jesus offers abundance. The disciples' initial doubt resonates with us in our daily lives. When challenges arise, when resources seem limited, we may question how can we navigate through the desolate places in our own journeys. But just as Jesus demonstrated with the loaves and fish, He calls us to trust in His abundance, even when our circumstances suggest otherwise. This passage urges us to reflect on our response to scarcity and doubt. Do we allow our faith to waver in the face of challenges or do we trust in the one who can multiply our meager offerings into abundant provision? It's an innovation, it is an invitation to deepen our reliance on God's faithfulness and to believe that with Him we can overcome even the most desolate places in our lives. As we leave this reflection, let us carry with us the assurance that Jesus is present in our desolate places, ready to transform our doubts into faith and our scarcity into abundance. May we be inspired to trust more deeply, to doubt less, and to embrace the miraculous provision that Christ offers in every aspect of our lives. Amen.